Welcome back to your SIU Medicine Minute. Joining me today is Dr. Hossam Abdel Salam, a pediatric neurologist for the Department of Pediatrics. Dr. Abdel Salam, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Today we're going to be discussing pediatric headaches. Uh, doctor, how often do headaches happen in children? Headaches is pretty common in children. In general, we divide headaches into acute headaches. These are the ones that happen with like an ear infection, a strep throat, a viral illness, dehydration, and these are very common, happen in most children with these circumstances. And then we have also chronic headaches. These are the headaches that tend to recur, uh, like migraine, tension headaches. And these happen in about, per studies, anywhere between 15 to 20 percent of children will suffer these headaches at one point of a time. Is there something parents can actually do about this? Uh, for the acute headaches, parents basically need to treat the underlying condition. So if a kid, again, has an ear infection, fever, and they complain with headache about that, they can give them uh, pain medicines, over-the-counter pain medicine, as well as treating the ear infection with antibiotics or the strep infection or proper hydration. Uh, but when parents start noticing recurrent headaches, like headaches is recurring on weekly or monthly basis, the first thing I would recommend is try to keep track of these headaches, uh, try to link any triggers, and of course talk to their primary care doctor about it. So you mentioned just the reoccurrence ones. Is there a specific time when parents should become concerned? Parents should be concerned uh, with what we call the red flags of the headaches, which is if a headache wake up a child from sleep, if the child is throwing up too much with the headache, or if the parents start noticing that the patient is having some crossed eyes, falling more frequently, tripping more frequently, sleeping too much with the onset of the headache, these are all uh, red signs, red flags that they should seek medical advice faster through their primary care physician or a specialist. Is there any place that somebody who does have these concerns, can they go for more information? I would recommend they would visit siumed.org. Uh, they will have a lot of information about referrals and general information about pediatric headaches. If they want to dig a little bit more, they can also visit the American Migraine Association or the Child Neurology Society. Dr. Hossam Abdel Salam, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for watching today's SIU Medicine Minute.